for me. I'm flat. Who need to? Hello friends, let's make a vampire hand puppet out of paper. We'll need one full sheet of construction paper, index paper, or card stock, something a little heavier. And for hair, we'll just need pieces with a red lining for the mouth. We don't need a full sheet and we'll need just a little bit of white to finish it off for the fangs. The tools we'll need pair of scissors, glue stick, and clear tape. Something to make some marks with. Let's get started. Turning our sheet this way, we're going to make our first fold. Fold that under. We're going to fold to about right here. It can be good to score these lines. Let's fold it back and have it protrude a little bit from this top layer so I can still see it there. And we'll flatten it out. This is our jaw. Turning the piece this way with our hill and two valleys like this, we're now going to fold in the opposite direction and overlap our pieces of paper just a bit, fold it over and crease. unfold here. We need to make our first cuts along here and here. Fold it back up and into this shape. Now, we need to make one more crease. Next, we need to make some more cuts. This is the back of the mouth, top lip, bottom lip. I split this into thirds, this into thirds, and this into fourths. We're going to make a cut into this line in here, let's make these cuts. Now fold in the top of the head and the jaw, looking at it like this. That's going to get in the way. We'll have to do one at a time. Here's what we want to do. We want to do a very specific fold right here. We want to take this crease and fold it over until it lines up with this. We're going to do that all the way around. It's this line lining up with that. We'll be taping each point down inside the mouth. Do this with each point individually. Don't worry about how this looks in here. This is going to get covered up with a lining. Forgot to make those cuts. Now we fold from this corner to the end of that cut. Now the next thing we want to do is actually go ahead and glue a hairline on the top of our puppet. And for that, we'll need a scrap of black paper 
let's fold over something about an inch and a half by here. And now let's cut that off along the fold. Fold this in half. We're going to cut an arch down to a sharp point right there. Unfold it. We'll line it up at the top edge, center it on our center fold, just like this. We'll add some glue right along here to hold it in place. I'm going to add some glue to this tip here to make sure it stays down. Now we need to make two cuts on either side of the head. One cut will follow the hairline, will only be about this deep. The other cut is going to be about like this. Now let's fold this forward just a bit from here to here. We're going to fold this piece back and now bend this all the way around like that. With a piece of tape, we're going to hold it in place. Make sure you've got it tucked nicely. We'll do the same on this side. Push that back and right on this point right here, fold all the way in and down. Piece of tape bridging the pink and black there. Well friends, I neglected to mention that in order to make a three-dimensional nose, we'll need a little bit more of our color. We won't need much of it though. Fold over a small piece. I'm going to draw a triangle on here that I'm going to cut out. Something like that. This will become our nose. I'm going to put glue right along here. Let's work on the jaw. Let's shape it just a little bit. We'll cut off these corners here and perhaps give him a little bit of a cleft chin. What do you say? Let's create eyes and eyebrows. I'll fold over a small bit of red here and just cut a small circle. You could find something to trace around if you want to. We don't have to glue anything just yet. Let's just see what we think here. So there's some eye, ooh, that's pretty scary. We'll want to add some eyebrows as well. So this time I'm going to cut a shape like that. Let's do it. I'm going to glue it in. not going to add glue out to the edges. Now a little bit of glue on each eye. Now 
Now let's make the lining for the mouth. I'd like red lining. I think that would suit a vampire. I folded the paper in half and I'm pushing it all the way into the fulcrum here. I'm going to trace the outline, both the top and bottom. Now we're going to cut inside that line a good quarter of an inch all the way around. And we won't fold it in half when we cut it because the upper and lower jar are not the same size. And I'm going to round the corners a bit. That looks good, it nests in there nicely. And we're not actually gonna glue it in place yet. We need to give our vampire some fangs. With a white piece of paper, fold it in half. We only need a small scrap. I'm going to cut a narrow triangle. I've made this thing much longer than I actually want it to appear. I only want to reveal about that much. We need the rest for the anchor. And so all that part that we're not going to see, I'm going to cut in half. Now let's open this up and separate our two fangs. And when we grab these two tabs and twist them against each other, our fang rotates down 90 degrees, and we can glue this part, or tape this part, into the mouth. It's fiddly, there's no doubt about it. When we close the jaw, we'll see that we actually gave our puppet a bit of an overbite, and that is so that there is an area a little bit of real estate to adhere the fang down without interfering with the jaw. Let's do the same with the other one. Now we're going to add some glue to both surfaces to glue the lining in. I want to add a little glue to the fangs right here. Oop. Peel that up just a bit. Try not to lift it all the way off. Just a little bit of glue will help that. Now, all along in here, don't come too close to the edge. The lining doesn't reach all the way to the edge. Line everything up, close it, press down. He looks like John Travolta. Now to operate the puppet, we use these little flaps here. These flaps bow them out a little bit. And then you can put your thumb here and just a finger or two inside and then put the other, they all won't fit. But you can do like this. And here you are. Yeah. Friends, I just thought of something that can help complete the look here. Let's glue some red to some black here.
Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed making a vampire puppet with us today. Did you enjoy it? I'm glad you asked. Yes. Yes, I did. But what's that? Oh, you will excuse me. The children of the night are calling. Hello.